GitHub API service. And this is going to contain a method, which is going to make that API call. So I'll have get user info, which is going to call the user API. And then I'm going to have a get repos, which is going to call the repository API. Now the get user info needs the user information, the user name, right? So I'm going to have a user name be uh, an input argument to this get user info method. And this is going to be a string. Now what this is going to do is use the request library that we've installed earlier in order to make a call to the user information. So the way to get the request library is to import star as request from request. You've seen a similar pattern before with Lodash. So now what I can do is do a request dot and uh, here I get all the methods that I can make thanks to the type definition that we've used. There is a get over here. So I'm going to call the get and when I open this, you see it's going to give me the options. Uh, I get type completion. I get to know what the uh, parameters that I need to pass to the method are. So I need to pass in the URI for sure. So what I'm going to do is call that API. Copy this URL. Paste this here. And rather than use this hard-coded name, I'm going to add the username. All right. And then I am going to skip the options. I don't have any options. And then I need to pass in a callback. So the callback is going to accept a response, which is what happens when the request is completed. I'm going to get this response back. This is of type any. I guess I can skip the options argument because I believe there is there should be a signature where you just pass in the callback as the second argument. So here's what I'm doing. I'm calling request.get with two arguments. The first argument is the URL that the request library needs to call. The second argument is a callback function. The callback function has an argument which is the response. So the request library is going to call this callback function with the argument, which is going to be the response. And this is going to execute this function, passing in the response that it gets from this API. So here what I'm going to do is just do a console.log of response. Very simple for now, we'll extract this out later. But for now, I'm just printing out the response directly.